G'day guys, today I'm doing some yabbing the good old fashioned way with some meat on a string. Well, in my bucket there you can see nine baited lines. I prepared all of those at home. It's just some diced beef tied to some string, tied to sticks. I baited them up at home so I wouldn't have to contend with the flies while I was dealing with all that meat. Now there's nine in there, I'm allowed to have ten, and that's because I've already unwound one ready to throw out. This is number ten, I'm allowed to have ten baited lines. So that can just go out there, and I'll stab this into the dirt here somewhere, and I'll know there's a yabby on the end when the line gets pulled tight. Well there we go, I've got one baited line set up and ready to go. I reckon I'll do the other nine off camera because it'll get a bit boring and repetitive. <laughs> It's also very, very windy today, but I've got a new toy I'm trying out. It's a wind slayer for the GoPro. It should help cut down the wind noise quite substantially. Righto, so I've got my 10 baited lines set up along the irrigation channel there, and I'll know there's a yabby on the end of one of them when they pull tight. And while I was throwing them in, I found this thing <laughs> laying in the grass. Hopefully I can get a few that size today. Make for a good feed. I probably, I probably should have a longer handled net, but this is the one I've got. <laughs> it's going to struggle to reach the water, but we'll see how we go. Alright, I've got my first bite here. See how the line's gone nice and tight? I'm going to struggle pulling him in on that angle, but we're going to try. There's a yabby on the end of it. Way over there. Which is not helpful to me. Maybe I can come at him from this way. Can't reach the water. Got him. First yabby, I thought he let go because it was really light, but he was still on there. There you go, simple as that. You just pull it up, chuck your net under, and get him. Probably not the best example, because I thought he got off, but um, then I saw the claws, so I scooped the net under and got him. He's not a huge yabby. He's certainly big enough to get some meat out of the tail. I'll keep him for now, and we'll see what else I catch. Here we go, this one's pulled nice and tight. There should be a yabby on the end of it. We'll just get the net in and we pull up slowly until we see the bait and then we scoop under it. There we go, that was a better example of what to do. Chuck the meat back out. He's about the same size as the last one. There we go, he might be a bit bigger than the last one actually, certainly darker. No eggs, in the bucket he goes. You beauty, I better get some grass in there to break them up. Got a bit of grass just to give them some shade. Also to help break them up so they don't fight as much. And also so they can climb up out of the water if they want to breathe some air. This blue one's been pulled tight. It's caught on a bit of grass, but it's tight apart from that. Same, same ideology. We'll just wait till we see the bait. Slowly, slowly. Bit of weight. I think he let go. Oh, oh no, I got him. Nearly got off. <laughs> Just wait for him to let go of the net there. Oh, he's a bit bigger. Just the one claw, but much more meat in that tail. And there's number three. This one's gone over this way, so there's definitely a yabby on the end. Let's see if I can get him. Oh, he's in a hole or something. No, I struggled to get him, he was in his hole, but he let go of the meat. I reckon there's a yabby on the end of this one. It's changed direction from where I threw it out. Yeah, it's way over there. Oh, he's caught on something. I reckon he just let go. I'll give him a sec to grab it again, which I think he has. Yep, he's still on there. Come on. Oh, he had a kick. When they do that, they have a bit of a flip. Just give them a second to collect themselves and then go for it again. No, I reckon he's let go. Yep, bugger. I reckon he's found it again. 
I was just tying it a little bit shorter because it was a bit long. And I reckon he's got it again. He's having a flip. I'll let, give him a second. Come on. Yeah, he's still on there this time. I can feel the weight. He's a bit timid, this one. So I'm just going really slow. And got him. Only a little guy, this one. But he will do. Yeah, there's some meat in that tail. He'll do. There's definitely one on the end of here. He's in his hole or something. He is coming up slowly though. Oh yes, there's a better one, better sized one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Big blue claw. Check. Whoa, geez, flexible. I hate the flexible ones. No eggs. Very good. In you go. This orange one's bit getting pulled sideways. There's definitely one on here. Whoa, whoa, he had a good kick. Oh, it went again. I'll just let him relax and then go. Whoa, nah, this one's really timid. Is he still on there? No, I think he gave up and let go this time. Bugger, felt like a good yabby, that one. Yeah, there's a yabby on it again. They keep taking me over to that fence, which makes it a bit tricky because they put their legs on the fence and it gives them some leverage. Oh, got him though. He nearly got away because I got hooked on that bit of grass, but I got him. He's only a little guy. Oh, no, yeah, he's big enough. If I start kept catching a heap of big ones, I'll probably put the medium-sized ones back that I'm keeping. But I haven't got any tiny ones yet. There we go. Get some meat out of him. There we go. This blue one's pulled nice and tight up near the culvert. It's the first bite I've had on this line all day. Come on, mate. A bit closer. A bit closer. Oh, the wind's doing my head in. Oh, he let go right at that last second when I was about to scoop. <laughs> oh, well. Hopefully he comes back. There you go. My friend's back on the blue one at the end here again. Uh, had him so close last time. We'll see if I can get him this time. Got him, yes. I scooped just before I could see the bait that time because I knew he was a timid bugger. <laughs> and it did the trick. He's another good size one by the look. No eggs. Nice meaty yabby for the bucket. Here we go. Mr. Green's getting pulled nice and tight down here. Ooh, there's a bit of weight to this one. Hopefully it's a nice big yabby. And he's, oh, 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 calm down. Oh, he's having a big flip this one. Come on. Oh, there's some weight in this yabby. Come on, I want to get him. Oh, yes, I knew it. Holy moly, that's yabby of the day. Look at that thing. <laughs> there you go. That's a thumbnail worthy yabby if I've ever seen one. I'm going to do a trip, uh, Robbie fishing trick here. I'll put him next to a can. It's still got some drink in it, so I don't want to lay it down all the way. But that's a, a 500 mil Monster Energy can next to that thing. Look at it. It's huge. <laughs> Definitely some meat in that tail and no eggs either. You ripper. In the bucket. You go, buddy. Jeez, with yabbies that size, I think I'm going to need a bit more water in the bucket. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a few more that size. He was closer to a crayfish than a yabby. <laughs> Here we go. This one's pulling tight. This is one of the more precarious ones where I'm a bit further away from the water. I've got to be very careful. And it's tangled in that weed, so I'm going to struggle to get him anyway. All right, let's see what I can do here. Let me get it off that weed. Well, I've got no hope of getting him. He's right there, look, I can see him. Ugh! I did get him, even though the weed was in the way. 
Took a bit of mucking around, but he's not bad. There you go, he's not a bad one. He's a flexible one, I've got to watch out for them. <laughs> but no eggs, you ripper. In you go. Getting a bit of a feed here. I think I'm doing better than I did when I came here with the nets. That's awesome. Oh yes, this one's proven that it's worth checking whether it's tight or not. There must be a, a colony of yabby holes just down under here because they just sit there and eat it. They don't take it away. Come on. Gotcha. Yep, he'll do. Lovely, no eggs. In you go. Oh, the green one's tight and I can see the stick bending. This is the one I got the nice big yabby on before. Hopefully it's the same case again. He's pulling the stick sideways. Oh, oh, he's flipping. Just have a relax, have a relax. Let him, fluke, let him flip out a bit. Got him. Nah, he's not as big as that other one, but he's big enough. Gee, I love this type of yabby. It's so much more rewarding and fun than using nets. <laughs> In you go, buddy. I'm getting a feed of yabbies tonight, that's for sure. Oh, here we go. The end one's actually tight. I've caught most of my yabbies on this one while it's been slack. <laughs> oh, this one feels like he's got a bit of weight. Take nice and easy. He doesn't want to come up. Here we go. He's coming now. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Yeah, good yabby. Not as big as the monster I got before, but good size. Lovely, no eggs. Haven't seen a single one with eggs today so far. Touch wood, knock knock. This one pulled tight just as I walked up to it. Yabby on it, he's only very small. Oh, there was one too. I missed him, but he was tiny. <laughs> here we go, another tight line down here. This one feels pretty small. Oh no, he's bigger than he felt. Only a one chlora, maybe that had something to do with it. Yep, I'll get some meat off him, no worries. There we go, a nice tight line on the green one here. Ugh. Doesn't feel overly heavy. Should be big enough though, yep, he's a good one. He will do nicely. Nice wide owl. He got me. <laughs> he should do nicely. Nice wide tail. No eggs. You ripper. Blue one over near the coal that's tied again. Wonder if it's that tiny little yabby that's been messing with me. Oh, oh yeah, he's on there. He's very small. Got him. I finally got the little bugger. <laughs> oh yeah. He is not worth keeping for a feed at all. He's a good bait size, but I've got some bait yabbies at home already that I haven't even used, so he can go back. See you buddy. I moved one of my lines to the other side of the road. Oh, he had a good flip just then. I think I freaked him. Oh, he feels big. He's still oh. He's very timid, but he feels very big. He's still on there. Just got to take my time with him. No, he's let go now, surely. Oh, no, I think he's still on there. Not as big. No, I've got crap on there. No yabby. Bugger. Here we go. There's a yabby playing with this one. It's going tight just as I walked up to it. See if I can get him in. He doesn't feel very big. Oh, I missed him. He was bigger than I thought too. He was just coming in easy. He wasn't fighting. Bugger. 
Oh yes, this one's pulling very tight. Just saw it having a fight with the wind. <laughs> He's not down a hole like some of them have been. Got some weight. Oh yes, there's a nice one. No eggs. He's one of the better ones I've caught today. Decent size. Get a bit of meat off him. Here we go. One of the higher up, trickier ones to net. It's getting a bite. It's tangled in all the grass. Oh yes. Oh yeah, he's got a bit of weight. Oh, he's flipping around. This is one of the trickier ones to net. Although I think it might have been the uh, first one I got a yabby on for the day. Bit higher, bit higher. Oh yes, he's a good one. He's one of them flexible ones too. <laughs> there we go, nice big fat tail on this one in the bucket. Here we go, on the blue one. Haven't had a yabby on this one for a while. Little, oh, oh, it come untangled from the grass and I nearly lost him. Oh yes, another good one. There was two on there. One got away, but he was smaller and I got the bigger one and I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> no eggs again, you beauty. Getting a good feed today. Well, this is one of the ones that I threw out on the other side of the road, and it's I threw it out over there, and it's over there. So safe to say there's a yabby on the end of it, or at least there was. It feels like there still is. Oh, he was a big one, and I missed him. You bugger! I'm going to throw it out over there and hopefully he's still there. <laughs> he was a good yabby. I saw the claws. They were huge. Well, 31 k an hour winds today. As you can probably tell by the trees over there. <laughs> it is very, very blowy. But my new toy, the GoPro Wind Slayer, should be cutting out nearly all of this wind noise. There's definitely one on here. I've just got to get it untangled from the grass gonna be a tricky one again on the other side of those weeds over there he's taking me further into them too oh, he's right there but he's uh, can I get under him I can he's only a little guy he'll probably go back gave me a bit of trouble trying to get him those weeds there have done that to me a couple of times uh, he's a little bit too small for the dinner plate. In you go. That's two I've put back, which isn't bad. I've been catching some good size ones today. This one's gone really slack. Oh, there's a yabby straight down, that's why. Oh, it's that big one again too. I felt the weight. Oh, look at the boil from him too. He let go though. You mongrel. He's still just down there though, so I might even just put it back and see if he's there again when I come back. The green one here has been pulled tight now. If you're wondering why my string's all different colours, it's because I'm using Daiwa J braid. <laughs> oh, he let go. Flipped off at the last minute. Here we go. This one that keeps tangling me in the weeds has another yabby on it. And he's through the weeds again. <laughs> They're good at that. They're aiming for it, I think. Oh, this one's right in there. Further than most. I, don't, oh, I think he might have let go, to be honest. No, he's still there. I think he's let go now, though. Oh, oh he didn't, though. I was too slow. He was still on there. Cheeky bugger. <laughs> Pretty yabby on the blue one. Oh, got one out there. This will be the first one I've got on this meat since I moved it over here, if there is one on there. There is. Yes. Decent size. Not bad. 
that's not a good throw. Need it under that grass, <laughs> through the hole there. That'll do. No, still on the grass. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll put the abbey down, I'll figure this line out. <laughs> it's in a tricky spot, this one. Out you go. There we go, that'll do. Yeah, he's a good size. No eggs. You'll go nicely in the pot. The bites have certainly slowed down. Instead of getting two or three every 10 minutes, I'm getting one every 15 minutes. <laughs> so I reckon I'll probably give it about another 20 minutes, see if I can get any more, and then I'll start reeling in my lines. I've got a feeling there's something pretty big on this one. I just walked up to it and saw it take off. He was in a hurry. If he's not big, he's just fast. Come on. Let me get one more. Oh, he's pretty big. Yeah, big enough. You beauty. Starting to think I wasn't going to get any more. In fact, I've already pulled in five of my sticks. <laughs> I've started packing up. And as I was walking up to that one, it had a nice bite right at the right moment. No eggs again. You beauty. One more for the plate. Gee, it's happened again. I reckon there's one on this blue one as well. Uh, I think he flipped off right as I touched it. It's just a little guy. <laughs> well, the original plan was to tip the bucket full of yabbies into the net, then refill the bucket and count the yabbies as I put them back in. But uh, I don't think they'll all fit in that net. But I had a guess I'd say I caught about that many. <laughs> Obviously, I added that up at home and then edited it into the video. But uh, there you go, meat and string yabbying. Lots of fun, it's very rewarding. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.